Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're going to explore the awesome yet oft neglected power of pentatonic chords. And when I say pentatonic chords, I do mean chords that derive from the pentatonic scale. It's an awesome, awesome tool, and it creates really unique sounds, really sophisticated sounds. And first, I'm gonna show you the chords themselves and then we'll explore what we can do with them. So, Pretty nice, right? These are really crystalline chords because they contain fourths and fifths. Okay, they contain the fourth interval and the fifth interval. Most of them, anyway. Now, um, those that contain the flat five note, the blue note, really um, create the more sophisticated jazzy sounds the dirtier, more earthy sounds, because those create the, um, the ninth sound, or the flat nine sound, or the sharp nine sound. So that's the, that's the basis, that's why those chords sound so sophisticated. Now what I'm doing here is I'm playing a minor pentatonic, you know, 8 5 8 5 7 5 7 5 7 5 8 5, the normal core root position. I'm also adding the flat 5 sometimes, okay, which is 8 on the third string. So we have 8 on the first, second, and third strings. Now, sometimes I'm also adding 7 on strings one and two. And this enables me to play eight, seven, and five on all three strings. Okay, but this doesn't sound as powerful. You can use it, but it's not as powerful. Now, what I am doing is something like this. I'm playing eight, five, seven. I'm also playing 8-5-8. Eight, eight. I'm also playing 7-5-7. Seven, seven. So if you play 8-5-8 eight, eight, and then 7-5-7 seven, seven, and end on 5-5-5, five, 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 you get a really cool sound. Now, you can play 8, 5, 7 also on strings 2, 3, and 4. Okay? It works as a solo line as well, a single note line. Now, you can also play 7-5-7 seven, seven on strings 2, 3, and 4. You can play 7-5-7 seven, seven on strings 3, 4, 5. You can play 5-7-7 seven, seven on strings 1, 2, and 3. On strings 2, 3, and 4. On strings 3, 4, and 5. Now, these become minor and sus chords. They're just normal chords. So you can sprinkle them in as arpeggios inside your pentatonic solos. Now, if we continue exploring the blue note, we, we also have the same note on four 
on the second string. So you can also use that. You can play four, five, seven on strings two, three, and four. You can also use the good old pentatonic track of two frets above and below the core root position. So you have on strings um, one and two, you have three and ten. You can immediately do this. 10, 10, 7. You can also do this. 3, 3, 5. Now, you can also do 5, 3, 5. What you can do on the third string is play 9. Because that's also two frets above the core position. But on the third string, remember, you have five and seven. So two frets above would be nine. So now you can play 10, 8, 9. You can also play 5, 8, 9. You can play 5, 7, 9. You can play... Um, you can play 10, 9, 7 on strings 2, 3, and 4. See, it works as a nice arpeggio. Now, other than this, you can also um, do something interesting. You can do this jazz chord. Now, this derives from the pentatonic scale, but it doesn't follow the scale exactly. And this is what gives it its power. Now, if you look at the core position, at the root position, you have 8, 8, 7, 7. This is a really cool chord. It's a 6, 9 chord. You can also take it two frets up. because you have 10, 10, and 9. All you need is to add the 9 on the D string. Now, this note, the 9 on the D string, is a part of the natural scale. So we can do that. We can also play it on five. We can play five, five, four, four. Because the four on the third string is that same note that is a part of the natural minor scale. And the four on the D string is that Dorian note that we added before. So you see, it's still pentatonic. It's still pentatonic because it's a fourth and then it's another fourth. Now, the interesting thing is because it's a jazz chord, you can also approach it from below. So you can play four, four, three, three, and then five, five, four, four. Now, having said that, we have many, many notes to choose from right now. We also added four and four on strings three and four. So we can also add minor arpeggios now. We can play four, five, seven on strings three, four, and five. Also on strings four, five, and six.
Remember, we already had this arpeggio, but on the second string. So we have four, five, seven on almost all string sets. This is no longer pentatonic. Granted, this is no longer a pentatonic chord sound because it's minors and then it's diminished. But if you use it inside your soloing, it really enhances your pentatonic lines. You see, I tried to sprinkle in as many of these chords as possible. And it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. There are many more chords you can explore. It's just that they're more uh, sophisticated sounding chords. Because if you're playing five on strings two, three, four, and five, this is a chord, this is a jazz chord. This is a ninth sus chord. If you play 8777 on strings 2, 3, 4, and 5, it's a 7 sus 4 chord. You can also use those. You can also use those chords. You just have to get used to them. So I hope that I opened your eyes and ears to new. Uh, options with the good old tired pentatonic shape because you can do so much more with it than just the normal blues runs and the the normal um, you know the, the normal approaches let's call it the pentatonic scale is a marvel you can use it for almost anything you need and just imagine that if you also use sidestepping. By sidestepping, I mean taking the pentatonic shape up a fret or down a fret and then going back. You, you can also use that with all these chords that I just showed you. And this is how you create really sophisticated solos without really doing anything. It's really hard to um, it's really hard to explain such advanced concepts without a proper backing track or you know at least a loop or talking about the chord progressions that you can use it over but this is outside the scope of this lesson um so thank you for watching i'll see you the next lesson subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and have fun creating pentatonic chords